So here in this question, um, we've got some algebra, uh, always some questions on algebra in your exams, so it's worth learning um, the skills uh, carefully. So the first thing says simplify, keyword, uh, so it means make it shorter, so bring some like terms together where possible. So here we've got 5m's, take away 3m's, always keep the uh, operation uh, to the left of the uh, expression or the term in the expression um, so that you can see what you're doing. So we're doing 5m's take away 3m's well 5m's take away 3m's is going to leave us with 2m so we know the answer is going to have a 2m in it. Uh, then we look at what's left where well, we've got plus 6p plus 2p so plus 6p plus 2p leaves us with plus 8p so it's going to be plus 8p. The next part uh, uses that word factorize, uh, and a factorize starts with the word factor. So that means we look at the terms of the expression and decide if there are any common factors. Uh, when we look at 5 and 2, the only common factor for those is 1, so it's no good taking that out as a factor. But then when we look at the letters, we've got a y squared, which we must remember means y times y. And then we've got a y, so therefore there's a common factor of y in both of these terms. So the idea of factorising is that you put the common factor, the highest common factor itself, outside a bracket. Factorise means put the expression into brackets. And then inside goes the remainder when you take the factor out. So basically we've got to do 5y squared divided by y, and then we've got to do 2y divided by y. Well, we saw that y squared was y times y, so if we divide y squared by y, then one of these y's will cancel to leave us with just y. But we've still got the 5, so 5y. Five we've got y divided by y, which means y divided by y is 1. 2 times 1 is 2, so we're left with 2. So inside the bracket goes 5y plus 2. So again, factorise has a keyword factor at the beginning of it, so it means find a common factor to all the terms in the expression. Looking at these two terms, the only factor that we can see is y, it's the only thing that goes into both of these. So if we share the expression by the common factor, what's left goes inside. Our check, and again, so important that we do this check, is the opposite of factorising is expanding. So we multiply out the bracket y times 5y, well y times y is y squared, and there's 5 of them, so that's fine. y times 2 is 2y, so we've got 2y. So our check worked, so our answer is going to be y. 5y plus 2. The last part of this says simplify. Um, so again, we've got an expression here where we're multiplying two powers of x. So we have x to the power of 7 times x to the power of 3. Now, the rule of indices when we multiply the same bases, uh, the same bases here are both x's. So the rule says that we can add the powers. Uh, so x to the power of 7 plus 3 is x to the power of 10. So the answer here is going to be x to the power of 10. If we wanted to check, then x to the power of 7 means that we're writing down 7x's multiplied. x to the power of 3 means we're, multiplying as we're adding another 3x's being multiplied here. So altogether we'd have written down 10x's being multiplied, which means x to the power of 10.